Hey everyone, uh, this is Sean Smith. I am the uh, CEO of Jungle Hustle and the CEO of uh, PPC Agility. And um, I wanted to put together a quick screencast on how to cut bleeding keywords at scale. So how to do this. So rather than going into your campaign manager, clicking on the campaign name, the ad group name, and then the keyword, and then making the change, we're gonna do this in a spreadsheet so that you can save I mean, this could probably save you hours. If you've got hundreds of keywords or thousands of keywords that you're changing, this will save you hours. Um, save you time, which time is money, so it's going to save you money as well. So let's go ahead and jump right in. So the first thing you want to do is obviously log into Seller Central. Go to, uh, you click on Campaign Manager, which is like up here. Um, click on Bulk Operations. Click on Download. And then for the date range, we use month to date data. So 11 1 to 11 15. And you can either do Excel format or CSV. Um, we can do Excel, click create bulk file for download. And then um, what you want to do is it's processing right now. I actually downloaded a few files for the same date range beforehand. So you just click download and then um, you open it up in Excel. Um, and then basically what you'll want to do is copy. So I don't want to do that portion of it because if I download this and open it, it'll show confidential information. So basically download it into a spread. Um, it'll, it'll download here or wherever. Open it up in a spreadsheet. Select all. So select all the data. And then we're going to paste it into a Google Sheet that you're going to create. So create a new Google Sheet, a blank one. Um, and then you'll title it. Here's how I title it. AMZ is the account name. So whatever your account name is. US is the country of the account, just in case you have international accounts. The cuts is the name of the specific procedure, and then this is the date today. So we've got our naming nomenclature done. Um, just a heads up, the record ID, the campaign name, the ad group name, um, the SKUs, and the keywords are all fake data. The reason they're not real data is because it's confidential information. So I just wanted to let you know that. So, you know, you'll, it'll be all your data here. So just follow the procedure and we'll be good to go. So we've got all our information here. Um, we want to click on data, filter, click on record type, and then um, we want to click clear. And we only want to select keywords because we only want to um, target the keywords here. And then what we want to do is um, all these keywords are fake. <laughs> so the name of the comp the software that I created was PPC Agility. So um, for our data, the demo data that we did in our um, in our software, we used all agility related products because um, it has the word agility in it. <laughs> and athletes are cool. So um, so keyword and then clicks. We're gonna do greater than or equal to eight. That's what that's what we're using here. That's what we use as well because that tends to I don't know, it tends to work out for us. Um, I don't know, it tends to control um, spend really well. Um, and then we're gonna do orders is equal to zero orders, okay? Um, we've only got two keywords. And then what we're gonna do is, and so this one's already changed. So we wanna change it to 14 cents. And then you just copy and paste it all the way down. And then what we wanna do is select all, copy it, Add a sheet, paste it. We're gonna delete this. Why are we deleting this? Because we only wanna upload the changes, right? We don't wanna upload everything else. That's gonna take way too much time. I mean, even though it's not changed, it still um, takes up server, you know, it takes up, uh, it takes up like memory and all that stuff. Processing, um, it takes up processing power, that's what it is. So what you wanna do now is you'll just hit um, file, Download as, you can do Excel or CSV. I usually do Excel, right? And then you'll go to Campaign Manager, click on Upload, um, choose File. You'll just select the file, then click Upload. And then over here under Status, it'll say like Processing. And then what you'll wanna do is you'll click on the Download Processing Report. And then you'll open it up and see if there are any errors at all. I don't wanna do it because it's like confidential information. Um, Actually, let's see here. Perfect. All right. So, uh, not necessarily. So, it says number of records processed four, number of records successful four. So, that means everything we've uploaded is successful. 
If it's not, then it'll tell you number of records processed is five, number of records successful is four, and then either number of records with errors will be one or warnings, and it'll show you down here what that error is. Let me know if you have any questions about error codes. I've been doing this for a while, so I can help you with that. <laughs> I've been doing this for a while, so I can tell you whether or not it's anything to worry about. Um, the other thing you can do is once you're done with the processing, um, once it's done here, oops, We'll go in ahead and pretty much what you can do is go to camp, click on campaigns. So basically find the campaign name. You can copy and paste this. Go to campaigns, click on the campaign name, the ad group name, find this keyword and make sure it was changed to 14 cents just to make sure that the changes went through. And then I recommend saving this file as well for, for reference. Um, if So that's that's the way to use it with bulk operations. We, there was only two keywords in this instance, but let's say you've got like, but I did cut out a lot of the keywords because it's um, um, I had to change all the data, so I cut out a lot of the keywords. But imagine if this was like 100 keywords, and I have been in situations where it's been like hundreds of keywords that I changed to 14 cents in like two seconds and then just uploaded them. Um, if you don't want to do this, um, we literally... Um, real quick, you don't have to subscribe here. This is our software. We did the exact same thing here pretty much, um, except we do a spend filter. So um, basically what you would do is connect your account and you would click this and it would literally do everything here, but it does it with software. So it saves you a lot of time. So you, And you don't have to upload or anything. So you just click, click here to um, cut bleeders. Um, basically greater than or equal to eight clicks, greater than or equal to $2 in spend, zero orders, and um, uh, month to date data, just like before, changes it to 14 cents. And you can click on cuts, cuts list, click here. And then it shows you when it was run. It shows you how much money was spent on those keywords. So that's how much you're saving after cutting these out. And these are zero order um, keywords. And it's all the same stuff, right? So it's all very similar. So it's all like agility ladder and stuff like that. But this is this is a dummy account. But yeah, so, and another thing, I know you noticed that like the new bid and previous bid is 14 cents. We're working to cut out the 14, the ones that are already 14 cents. So we'll subtract that from here as well. So honestly, so PPC agility is $57. So if you saved, it's like this is $900. Even this was like a hundred bucks. It um, PPC agility pays for itself because it saves you so much time, right? So um, you don't have to do this. If you want to just go to ppcagility.com and sign up. Um, if not, you can always use the method here, the bulk operations method. But I wanted to not only show you this method, but show you that we do this as well, just in case you want a um, faster alternative. All right, guys, thank you so much for listening. I hope this brought you a ton of m value and saves you thousands and thousands of dollars. All right, and again, I'm Sean. If you have any questions, hit me up over at sean at ppcagility.com. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.